Greetings to the 12 tribes of the children of Israel scattered abroad in the name of Jehovah our Creator and Jesus Christ of Nazareth our King. This is Lily of the Valley and today we're looking at the Rose of Sharon. Okay, The healing benefits of the foods that the Most High gives us on this earth. He says in... Um, Song of Solomon 2 verse 1, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. So both of those are very good for healing for many, many, many types of issues. So what we're going to do is do a little recipe I found on healthbenefittimes.com. This is the rose of Sharon right here. So you can pick it if you have the tree. It's also called hibiscus. Then we're going to put it with some honey and cheese and blackberry. blackberries, okay? So that's going to be the recipe. But some of the other names that it's called is, um, let me tell you. See, in different cultures, it's called different things, okay? So, it's also called Rose Mallow, Rose of Sharon, Shrub Althea, Shrubby Althea, Syrian Hibiscus, Syrian Rose, Syrian Ketmia, Althea, Blue Hibiscus, Common Hibiscus, Hardy Hibiscus, Korean Rose, and St. Joseph's Rod. So it's used for food. You can use the leaves for tea and the foods for the flowers as well as the leaves. I'm kind of a little bit distracted as you can tell. So um, it isn't a rose and you can use the bark leaves and all of those points so come and hold this for me right here so we're going to remove the i don't know what this part is called and then we're gonna take out the sep the petals okay That's one part, and then you have the cheese. This one is gonna be honey, cheese, and honey, cheese with blackberry on the inside of it, and then it's gonna be served raw, okay? But there are many other recipes on that website as well, as you can look up other recipes. So that's just Oh, I do the cheese and then some honey. So this is the savory, I'm sorry, the sweet version, but they have many savory recipes on there as well. So you just put it on the inside. And that's one. So those are some of the foods that you can use for healing. All of these viruses, it's good for dysmenorrhea, which is like fibroids. Very good for the thing where I'm going to go around now, around the world and I infect people with. So this is one of those things that also grow in many people's yards. And it's called Rose of Sharon. Okay. And 
this is what it looks like that's just one of the plants on the flower and it comes in different colors as well so this the recipes I'm using today came from healthbenefittimes.com forward slash Rose of Sharon. So with that I say Shalom, have a blessed week, be safe and use the the plants and the foods that the Most High give us to heal yourselves because he already told us to look and see what our forefathers and our foremothers did in the past so that we can use that in the present. And pray Psalm 91 for yourselves and your family and Psalm 109 over the people who make diseases and use it to depopulate the earth. Shalom.